Hello, everyone. What is in a name? It is through our names that we first place ourselves in the world. Our names, being the gift of others, often our parents must be made our own. Indeed, when we meet someone new, our name is usually the first piece of information about ourselves that we share. It is often one of the first markers of our identity that others learn. We use names to introduce the concept of identity and our history. Therefore, a name is something very important, which is why most people will get upset if their name is abbreviated without their consent, misspelt, or mispronounced. Naming is a very important tool used among various African cultures to convey certain messages, either to an individual, family members, or a community. It is from our names that one can learn various cultures. Here are some African names that tell a story, and to tell that story, here are some amazing kids to do so. I'm historically from Zimbabwe, but I was born here in the UK. I'm named after a very powerful queen who gave birth to a very powerful king. Shaka, happy Black History Month! Here are some fun facts. Queen Nandi was the daughter of King Bebe, a past chief of the Langeni nation and the mother of the famous Shaga, king of the Zulus. She is widely considered to be one of the greatest single parents who have ever lived. Hi, my name is Nadia Gugaletu King, and Gugaletu means I have a precious gift from God, and I'm African Canadian. Here are some famous people named Gugu. There's an actress called Gugu Mbata Ro. She starred in Black Mirror. Miss Sloan, Beauty and the Beast, Misbehavior, and the Apple TV drama series The Morning Show. Hi, my name is Makeda Moyon, and I am named after Makeda, the Queen of Sheba. I am Debele Zimbabwean, and I am also Canadian. Happy Black History! The Queen of Sheba, Makeda. Appears as a prominent figure in *Glory of King*, the Ethiopian national epic and foundation story. According to this tradition, the Queen of Sheba, called Makeda, visited Solomon's court after hearing about his wisdom. She stayed and learned from him for six months. On the last night of her visit, he tricked her into his bed, and she became pregnant. She returned to a kingdom where she bore Solomon a son, Menelik. Menelik was made king by his father, thus founding the royal Solomonic dynasty of Ethiopia, which ruled until the deposition of Haile Selassie I in 1974. Hi, my name is Titi Lyo Alaka. Titi Lyo means everlasting joy, and it comes from the Yoruba people in Nigeria. Happy Black History Month! Hi, my name is Tolani Alaka. My name means someone who is worthy of respect, and it comes from the Yoruba people of Nigeria. Happy Black History Month. Wale Sonika is a Yoruba playwright, poet, and writer who won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1986. He was the first African to receive the award. Sonika's writing often focuses on oppression and exploitation of the weak by the strong. Ayanda is a Zimbabwean. Ayanda is a Nilabela name. That means our family is growing. Happy Black History Month. Bye. Ayanda Mabulu is a South African artist, mostly known for his paintings, tackling the issues of inequality and its experiences in contemporary society, especially those that set the black body as a turf where violence occurs. Ayanda Mabulu is an internationally recognized South African artist. Hi, my name is 
Namsa and my name in Zulu means kindness and I was named after my late grandmother Happy Black History Month! Nomsa Kupi Manaka is a South African dancer, choreographer, and actress. Nomsa appeared in a short film, Exiled, about a woman coming to terms with a political exile in the United States in 1990. And my name means sweet or one who brings happiness. I am an a, a, um, um, African Canadian. Happy Black History Month. Mandisa Huntley, known professionally as Mandisa, is an American gospel and contemporary Christian recording artist. Her career began as a contestant in the fifth season of American Idol, in which she finished in ninth place. Hello, my name is Asima Tumani Kire. My name is Sona Zambami, and it means we are strong. And I am Zimbabwe Canadian. Tasimba is a unique and not so popular name. It comes from the word Simba. No, <laughs> not the Lion King, but the Shona word for strong. When conjugated, Tasimba means together we are strong. Hi guys! Um, happy Black History Month. My name is Tendi and in Zulu that means be loved. Tandi Newton is an English actress with roots from Zimbabwe. She is the recipient of various accolades, including a Primetime Emmy Award and a British Academy Film Award. In addition to nominations for two Golden Globe Awards, Newton is known for her starring in movies like Beloved, Mission Impossible 2, Crash, and The Pursuit of Happiness. Hi, I'm Michelle Tonson I'm African Canadian, and Tonson means made to love. Tandi Swanyameka Mazwai is a South African musician and is also the lead vocalist and songwriter of Bongo Muffin. In 2004, her first solo album, Zabalaza, attained double platinum status and her album also got nominated for the Planet Awards on BBC Radio 3. Tandiswa has performed and shared stages with greats such as Paul Simon, Stevie Wonder, the Mali Clan, Chaka Khan, and Sean Paul. Lozi K. Jodlo was a queen of the Ndebele people. She was known for her outspokenness and for her defiance of the white settlers in what would later become Rhodesia, now known as Zimbabwe. Lozi Kei played an important role in the Anglo Matebele War of 1896. She was in charge of the king's army. She ensured that the army had enough ammunition ahead of the 1896 war by using the weaponry her husband did not use in the first Anglo Matebele War of 1893. Queen Lozike was not the first woman to lead in this capacity, but rather was part of a collection of strong, influential royal women in the Nguni society. Hi, my name is Tabo Mbofu. My name means joy or happiness. I am African-Canadian. Black History Month. Tabo Mvuyelwambegi is a South African politician who served as the second president of South Africa from June 16, 1999 to 24 September 2008. As a woman of color of African descent living here in Ontario, Canada, I have come to learn the importance of saying my name loud and proud, regardless of what anyone thinks. All too often, I abbreviated my beautiful name, Sponile, to Bonnie, just to make people around me not struggle with pronouncing such a name. But as I said earlier, my name is my pride and glory. It is my introduction to the world. It tells my history and that of my ancestors. 
There is an ongoing concern for many African people that their names can be a setback in thriving as a minority in Canada. Not being called for an interview, being profiled, difficulty assimilating into a new school or work, and so forth. Yes, this may be true, but you and I have the power to change this. It starts by teaching our kids to take pride in their names, regardless of where they come from. It takes teaching your kids to be inquisitive and curious about learning unfamiliar names. Taking the time to laugh at yourself as you make an effort to learn names that you may have never come across or find difficult to pronounce, such as Iche Chuku, Kikuliche, or Roli Shasha Mandela, which is Nelson Mandela's African name, by the way, in Kosa. My challenge to you today, regardless of your race, religion, or background, take some time to find out from a colleague, a friend, or even when you're picking up a book from the library since we're open again, the story behind their name. Who gave it to them and why? Where are they originally from? You will be surprised at what you learn. If their name is a difficult to pronounce, take a moment to ask them to teach you. I guarantee you it will be so much fun. I'd like to say thank you to Milton Public Library for the platform and all the beautiful children who shared their stories. Thank you so much. Sibonile Chimanikire.